Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to defeat Soviet Union as Finland. This is playing on historical AI without any mods, any sheets, and nothing at all. This is my first try recording this, I haven't even tried, but it's something I've been thinking about doing for a while. I'm not sure if it's if people already know when it's super simple. I haven't seen anyone else do this video. Oh well, it's probably one of the first videos. Well, back in 1.0 I think I saw something like this. I got my attention, but I didn't watch it, so yeah, we'll see, and stuff has changed since then, so I think it's okay for me to do it. Let's just see what we have here to choose from. We have a Winter Specialist, G-Ranger, we have Winter Specialist Command, we're not going to be out of supply, hopefully, so we're going to pick a better one. Okay, here, we're going to have this front line uh, as standard, but we're not, oh, actually, we're not going to do that. Uh, that's what I was thinking. We're not, we're going to split this guy, uh, we're going to need two guys, actually. Two different oh god okay let's see we're gonna need a second general here so let's pick you then so both we're gonna get used and you are going to be fuck man <laughs> you're gonna just gonna be standing on these two and you are going to have a fallback line defending oh, is there a river here don't think there is okay how important is this state here it's not important not important not important not important, not important. Important. Important, I guess. <laughs> so this is the one we need to defend. But yes, we can defend all of these down here. Okay, right. So we're gonna do this fallback line behind this river here. And let's do like that. And let's bring it down. Let's bring it down on the front line like this. that seems good okay <laughs> and uh, for focus we're gonna rush down these military factories uh, i would prefer the political power but we don't have time because we're playing on historical soviet is going to attack us in the winter between 1939 and 1940 so that's the time zone we're um we're that's the time we're going for to try and speed up to okay trench warfare we don't really have a choice i would prefer uh, superior firepower but we don't have factories let's see here we have three factories no we can't really we should re uh, we can't actually produce a lot of artillery, so for now we're just gonna not produce it at all. And we're gonna see if we do it later, the convoy, because we're not gonna focus on the navy, we can't actually do it at all. So these two merge up into one, you choose the... Oh, you just spawn one then, I thought you had, maybe. Okay, and we're just gonna retreat with a fleet, so it's for... Oh, level one, nope, level three, that's good. Uh, six ship, I think, yeah, that's fine. And let's do it a home fleet, control right click to make it a home port. And let's build military. Oh yeah, we can do it. Let's build here. Right, and let's speed up time. So yeah, let's go. Get to see what happens. Okay, we got train troops as well. We're gonna need uh, quite a few troops if we want to plan on beating them. But yeah, that's like not gonna happen anytime soon, at least. So let's put these guys here. Yeah, that's fine. And let's start off by putting them here because we this guy is going to push these two out. That's a plan at least, uh, just because this is so important. I have 10 factories already here. That's just going to double my industrial capacities, uh, thinking at the moment. But some of these, yes, we're going to be naval doctors, but it's better than nothing, I think. And the, the defensive capabilities, yeah, they are worse, but it's a river, so it should be okay. I mean, this is the best defensive position on these two land force that you start off with. I don't think we're naval. No, we have some naval around, yeah, but these two, that's where you would like to defend. But we're not going to. And we're probably going to get some fort up, forts up here uh, when we have time. I'm just going to max out these factories. We're not planning on losing any of those. Okay, so what's going to happen? Yeah, we're going to research the factories, the industrial, just because we have time. If it was like China, maybe you don't have time, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I think it's the best choice. And the trench warfare, because we can't uh, do artillery, we can't do tanks, and we don't have time to go down for the manpower, really. If we had time to go down for the manpower, I would actually um, consider it. But no, these three here in the beginning, these three here, even the fourth one is good. These four here are so good. Like, these four are really good. Uh, better than 
Maybe not better than v Vs3. Vs3 are insane. But they're better than the, the Master Soul first three. they are better than the Superior Firepower's first three. Vs3 Venom. Let's say three. three, three. But the level ones catch up later. I mean, the Master Soul second one is a is good one. I mean, the, this one is a good one. This one is a good one. The last one. Yeah, so they have pros and cons, the other ones, but these here in the beginning were just insane. The later ones are not that good, the last one is good here on the right, but that's that's what we're gonna do. It. We do, really don't have the time to go down all the way down, so we're just picking from the first three picks. And the first three picks, no way I'm picking anything but Trench War for them. Especially, we want the planning for this guy here, which is Spain, sure thing. And these guys, they don't have a planning up though, do they? They're entrenched. This blue thing. I think the planning is supposed to be here, so I don't think they have planning. Well, we can check on these two guys down here. Yeah, exactly. These you guys are prepared. And these are not. Maybe you should have them on front line prepare and fall back. Ah, I don't know if that works though. We can do like this. We can have this front line here. And we can do a offensive with that front line. And we can put them here, so a plan. Let's try, let's try. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is going to work. But we can hope. We can have dreams as well. I'm gonna put them back when we're all capped. And let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, we could go up to... Uh, oh, we're actually already unlimited. That's really interesting. And we're on 18 divisions, and that's that's a lot. But I would like to get at least two or four out. Two, two more. So, but we really... Do, we can't, so... Ooh, are we gonna go fascist then? Uh, no, but we're gonna go down and pick up militaries and military youth after going down these. So that, so that should fix the manpower problem. And that means we could go around early mobilization. Because we're not gonna waste the political power on going f um, getting fascist support, because getting the fascist support is not important. We're gonna pick the factory output here, because Soviet usually doesn't have planes. But that's not why. Uh, it's the factory output in the early game. It's just uh, a tad bit better, I feel like, uh, in this comparison. Because... Just thinking... Uh, that is, we just want to pump out guns now and before the war and get our deficit we're gonna get a stockpile and that kind of stuff and we don't really care about our factories getting destroyed during the war and during the war it doesn't matter that's too late then it's it's before the war we want to build up as soon as quick as possible and that i think is better with concentrated if you think it's better with dispersed sure you go with that i'm and i'm really hesitating now because i really want to go down here because of the production base and i like the production base it helps out a lot, but I'm not gonna build that quick, so maybe... It, uh, let's go here. <laughs> Shit seems better. Okay, let's see. These guys are planning, and let's go back, and they... Did we lose for planning? Yeah, no, we didn't lose for planning, but... Oh, we're losing it slowly. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's how it works, I'm sure. Yeah, let's not focus on getting planning, then it's made it more important getting the entrenchment. Oh, and the, I missed this for a while. My bad. It's stupid. Okay, let's see. Nothing here we want. The sign workhorse, maybe we would want. I think we want, but yeah. Theory seems better. We need to modify these divisions to become better. And uh, how we do that is... Maybe seem weird, but I think we're going to remove one of these and make it a 10. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna roll with. <laughs> I think that's the best choice. And maybe we can remove one more and put in artillery, I don't know, we'll see. We'll s no, that doesn't work because it doesn't add up. 10. It would add up to 11, which is bad. And we still have the time to do this, so we'll do it. We'll always do it if we have the time, and we do. See, this also gives us buff, right? Yeah, recovery rate. Ooh, attrition. Ooh, ooh, shit, that's a lot of bonuses. What's this pop up down here? Pop up. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure what to do. We're gonna, we should trade, though. Right, we should probably trade. Let's see. We're not missing on guns, though. So, that means we should not trade. My bad. 
we would have this front line here. I'll just modify it too, so it's less shitty. Also, you see my mouse probably twitching sometimes. It's not that I have some kind of diabetes. <laughs> no way. But I... My, it's a Razer mouse and they usually do that, so I'm gonna try and invest in a Corsair or something that doesn't fuck as much. Yeah, Razer is not a brand I would recommend actually, after using. This is the third mouse from Razer in a row I'm using, because I thought Razer was a good company. And then I did some research and it turns out all of their mice are just this, um, just die after a year or so. So I'm like super pissed off <laughs> at that. But it's cool, I really... Don't bother right now. And so the strategy, we take Leningrad, we defend against this, we join the Axis, and we defeat Soviet. We could probably defeat them by itself, though I don't know if I could. This is also just a bit of practice because I want to do the Einstein uh, challenge in 1945 to so try to survive and win as Germany. <laughs> seems a bit half tough. Yeah, it does. It seems really tough and I'm not sure if I, I'm, I can pull it off, I probably not <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to give it a try and uh, there's uh, some stuff I've thought about to do some choke points to hold problem is there's really nothing here in Germany, northern that can stop an invasion that easily here there is, because this is mountains the only thing I can think of is cities and that I can do an urban defense where I only defend cities uh, oh you saw that yeah, I'm gonna take care of that later. <laughs> um, ooh, I, I, okay, we gotta pump out some artillery because uh, I want to add the support artillery if I have the option. And I do, I think I do have the option. I have a privilege. <laughs> you can see. Oh, now they are not full and we're gonna trade for one. Uh, not US, fuck you. God, my mouse is so bad. Oh, actually, didn't wait. What the fuck? Wait. Uh, okay. I, <laughs> you guys saw the. I didn't know you guys could see this. I thought that wouldn't appear on. The, you're right. I think they changed that then. <laughs> oh well, I don't really care. It's something I involved with. Is I usually tabbed out and did, did stuff, but now I realize I can't run ever. Not that I... I've stopped doing it though because I thought I wanted to do it more professionally uh, doing the YouTube. Right... Mm, yeah, we should probably get a bit of those. We're gonna get a ton of factories, probably. Are we gonna get these done in time? No, actually not. What are we using? I thought we had like four or five. Are we exporting something? Exporting... Yeah, we're exporting steel, we're exporting chromium. Who the fuck is dumb enough to import chromium? <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't say what I'm. Uh, this thing here is that showed here. No, it's not. That's really weird. <laughs> this, cause this one here, I tend to look at it sometimes. Actually, it's not that important, but uh, for you, but for other nations, let's say Germany. Here you can see they are importing basically every resource. Jello is ex exporting, right? Yeah. Let's join that bitch. Uh, workhorse, now nah, we're probably gonna start getting these guys up. Ooh, command, no, we don't want, we need regrouping. Oh god, that's a good guy. Genius, you always want a genius. Oh, genius! Oh my god. We're gonna pick the defense and then we're gonna switch him out for offense later in the game. So the question is, do we pick this now or do we pick it next? I'm probably gonna pick it next because we're still doing industry, so I want the industry concern. And I'm gonna go down towards fascist support. Pick a military youth. And then pick up maybe pick up the research slot. I think that's the next thing because it's the next. It's the only good thing left. <laughs> oh, actually, ideological fanaticism is the best thing to pick up. It's definitely the best thing to pick up. National unity. We need that. We need the defense on that. Uh, the attack on core. We need the defense on core. Yeah. yeah I, I like that. Yeah. Let's go down for ideological fanaticism. <laughs> if that's how you say it, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just here guessing. 
Okay, when wolves get manpower, we'll be able to pump out men. These de this deficit will probably be gone. And oh, actually, we're gonna let one of these pump out, and then we're gonna add more on guns. We need guns. Okay, and let's see. How are we doing in support? We're behind in support. That's normal, because we don't have any aluminium. And we can't trade for aluminium, because we're only producing with two of these. And they are coming from... So use available to... Feels bad. Uh, feels very bad, man. Almost done. Yeah, we can finally remove one. Get some guns back. Yeah, our deficit is gone. <laughs> feels bad. No, feels good. <laughs> I mean, that actually gave us some men. Oh, and these filled up. Hmm, interesting. I like that. And we're stockpiling for the first time. Good. I'm gonna fill that up because I don't don't want to produce boats at the moment at least. And probably not in the future here <laughs> as well. Great perch. Good, good. And uh, that's, this is another important thing. We are going to be fighting them while the Great Purge is active because it's historical. They will not. Well, Germany won't attack until 1941. I think. Is it 1940 or 1941? I think it's 1941. Barbarossa yeah, went active. That means we have quite a bit of time to defend and we can do that during the Great Purge. It will be less and less effect over time, but still, still bad. It's still good for us. So it's cool. And uh, yeah, the. What's it called? Robin, Robin, <laughs> Robin Hood pack. Robin Hood pack. Yeah, Robin Hood. Let's call it that. It's a better name. The Molotov Ribbentrop pact uh, is going to be active, which is usually something that never happens in multiplayer. Because why would Germany ever want a Molotov Ribbentrop pact? <laughs> uh, in real life, the, the the things Germany got for it was quite shitty compared to Soviet. The Soviet got a lot better deal. But at the same time, it got them Romania as an ally, basically got them Finland as an ally later, it got them uh, half Poland for free, it got them... It got them the support of these Balkan nations here, I guess, Baltic, Baltic nations. I think it got them, yeah, so it got them support, I think it's, yeah, it's a good deal actually then. I mean, and these, these didn't join them, these got annexed by Soviet, but what I'm saying is when we did attack them, these guys wanted the invasion to happen, so that's what I'm calling support one. <laughs> okay, let's pick the defense genius and let's pick up the other genius. You have fucking two geniuses, that's insane, that's like the most in the game. I mean, I don't think Germany has any geniuses, I know Australia has a genius, I think USA has a genius. Maybe UK has one, no, no they don't. I'm not sure who has one. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, fuck, I was thinking of, uh, maybe Franco had one, but no, he doesn't. He hasn't j just uh, an expert. No, it, yeah, an expert. But uh, what I'm, I usually, when I play Republic in Spain, I hate my life because you can't pick up the um, Chief of Army guy that gives attack because it's Franco's. He's the only one that can pick it. And that's, that's actually a huge reason why uh, Republic in Spain has a hard time. It's just because of that. Not entirely. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> but it is a big reason, in my opinion. Let's... Should we pump these out? Mm, we can't actually... Why would we? I mean, we can't fill new up. We don't have men. We get to wait at least um, a month or so for that. And let's see, planes. We don't have any planes at all. And we don't have any... Not any in reserve and no air wings at all. So, boats we have. I've checked them. We have divisions ready. Supply grace, value 72, good, 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 my friend, good. Yeah, pump, pumping out automatically. Air train V's, air train V's. Have guns to spare. Good, let's pick up the radio, let's pick up uh, support defense, it's time to do that kind of stuff, except for land doctrine. But yeah, we gotta fo really focus on the infantry now, getting them ready for war. Let's see here, ground battle plan done, let's get to the next one, hopefully getting get the four first one, I'm not sure actually how uh, long you get, but hopefully at least, we can at least pray, <laughs> recon, mm -hmm. come on give me, give me more factories, I need factories, 
Let's actually remove that back. Come on, my mouse is so bad. I, I really want to just kill myself sometimes. Okay, tungsten. It's not a lot to trade for, so let's not do that. Okay, actually spin one as usual. And we're doing military youth, we're gonna get tons of manpower to defend our home country, home nation, whatever. <laughs> okay, so well, let's see. This is quite a fun part. We didn't get 5% for that, 2% for that, that's 7, 7 plus 25. Uh, that's 32% of, of my country. So, 3 out of 5 of the Finnish men are going to go to war. Three out of five. So that's like the kids, that's like the seven year olds and such. <laughs> the only ones that get spared are the women and like the two year olds, the rest of the men of the men go to war. And like the 90 and 8, 100 year old, they can get spared as well. We can stop a bit, we don't need to do it at the moment, we can do it soon. Let's pump you out. We can actually get more here. We need more men. We really need a lot more men. I'm gonna put a lot of troops here just to capture Leningrad. Get this foothold here. I'm gonna start building and remove these. It's time to build forts. At least level ones. Let's build. Uh, I don't want him to. F this is gonna get hit a lot, this area here. So I'm probably gonna build like this. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. Okay, we can't move up here. Let's see. We can't move here. So there's no reason to not just pick this guy here. I would like to pick other stuff, I guess, but... Let's get there, these guys. We can pick uh, these two up later. We have quite a long time still. And we're probably gonna make this into a two-part episode, because it's already gone 20 minutes. So I'm gonna end it in a couple minutes. And do another part in a couple days, maybe. Two or three days. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can end this guide here. Beer. Whatever. <laughs> let's see... These four, I want two more men here at least. So, you two, and then we're gonna start pumping them out here on this line until we are 24. Because 24 guys are definitely necessary to hold this area. I'm not sure if I can do it with this few troops that I have now. I'm not even sure if I can do it with 24. And when these six guys, whatever I'm gonna have here, maybe eight, have captured Leningrad, well, I'm gonna put two or two full two back at least on the main line. Because that's where we're gonna hit the most. This is just the, We're gonna capture that and if this goes to shit, we can always retreat here and uh, Yeah, we should not have paratroops, so we don't should probably not need a second line of defense We don't need any reserves the only thing is if we do naval invasions So if what if we do naval invasions you may ask what will happen then well The Soviet bot isn't known for doing naval invasions. Let's start with that but and if we do naval invasion against us, well, we're kind of fucked. Yeah, so I should probably do something again against that to counter it. Yeah, I should definitely do that. So I'll have maybe one or two troops here and here. Yeah, here and here should be good. Or is there a port? Yeah, there's no port for on the front line. We probably need troop. Yeah, here then maybe. So if one, two, three troops. Okay, and we fuck all and we don't need that island. It's not necessary, at least, for the victory of the Finnish, Finnish nation. So I'm gonna pick the next one here, and I'm gonna end the video. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, tell me in the comments if you wanna see the next part, if you have any other suggestions, if you have anything you would like to see, anything, any questions, anything, just leave it down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye.